Hi, welcome to my eMath online classes. I am Yuganda, your maths lecturer. Now we are uh, discussing in the topic locus. This is the second problem. Take a look at the question. Find the equation of locus of a point which is equidistant from the points capital A minus 3 comma 2 and capital B 0 comma 4. Okay, now what is our first step in this topic? First of all, we have to write let P x1 y1 be any point in locus be any point in locus okay this is the first step in this entire topic we have to give a first step like this let us read the question and find out uh, if any points were given if so you have to mention that point too also so write down given points here in this question two points were given one of them is capital A minus 3 comma 2 and the other point is capital B which is 0 comma 4 ok later read the question again and understand how to solve this question he said the locus point is equidistant from the given points that means suppose take a coordinate system Okay. This is x axis, x dash, y axis, and y dash, and this is origin. Okay, fine. Now look at the point capital A on the system. Capital A minus 3, comma 2, x is negative and y is positive. That means this point lies in somewhere in second quadrant so write down capital A minus 3 comma 2 and capital B is 0 comma 4 that means x value 0 that means this point lies on y axis positive y axis ok so write down somewhere 0 comma 4 no problem we uh, we are not going to exact scaling and our required locus it is also somewhere like x1 y1 maybe x1 and y1 are positive negative whatever it is the distance should be equal that means p a equal to p b so write down p a equal to PB. PA means distance from the points P and A. PB means distance from the point P and B. Okay. Already the point P was X1 by 1. And we know that we have to already have an idea about how to find a distance. Suppose I am mentioning this formula if two points were given one of them is x1 y1 and the other point is x2 y2 okay this is formula if a b a b means distance between the points a and b it is x2 minus x1 whole square 
plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Okay, this is the formula student has to know before doing this problem. This formula is used in the left hand side for the case PA and also we have to use the same result for PB. Fine. Now for the case PA write down P is x1 y1 and consider the point capital A as x2 y2. According to the formula of distance x2 minus x1 so in this case look at here in this case this is x2 y2 we have to imagine up to the solving of this problem this is x2 y2 for the case PA okay x2 minus x1 that means minus 3 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 that means 2 minus y1 whole square equal to this one equal to pb for this case also we are using the same formula that is distance formula and p is already we know that it is x1 y1 and here in this situation we have to consider the point B as x2 y2. Okay. Now use this formula for PB x2 minus x1 x2 stands for 0, x1 stands for x1, whole square plus y2 stands for 4, y1 stands for y1, fine. Now clear this one because this is our assumption to use the distance formula, okay. Now take a look at the both of the sides. <coughs> both sides we have square roots, they cancel. And uh, take a look at here minus 3 minus x1. That means take the minus as a common factor and apply the whole square rule. Minus square means it is plus. So this one become 3 plus x1 whole square after that 2 minus y1 whole square write down as it is and take a look at here 0 minus x1 is minus x1 because 0 has no value plus 4 minus y1 whole square clear now use here a plus b whole square a plus b whole square, we know that it is a square, a square plus 2ab, 2 into 3 into x1 plus b square, that is x1 square plus again for this case 2 minus y1 whole square, we are using the same result, a minus b whole square, a square that is 2 square minus 2a, a means 2 and b means y1 plus b square that means y1 square after that equal to minus x1 square is nothing but x1 square because negative whole square is positive right. That is all for this term and next plus 4 minus y1 square it look like a minus b whole square so a square minus 2 a b 2 into 4 into y1 plus b square that is y1 square now take a look at the both of the sides both of the sides x1 square is same positive 
positive terms and same as same terms so they have got cancelled similarly take a look at uh, y1 square also both of the sides y1 square are same look like same so they are they are also can cancel next step 3 square means 9 plus 2 3s are 6x1 plus x1 square is cancelled so next 2 square is 4 next 2 2s are 4y1 equal to 4 square is 16 minus 2 4s are 8 8y1 ok now move all the terms same side so then we have 9 plus 6x1 plus 4 minus 4y1 moving this uh, 16 the left hand side we have negative 16 and moving this minus 8y1 the right hand side we have positive 8y1 equal to there is no term on the right hand side so z 0 now calculate the identical terms here there are no x terms so write down 6x1 only later identify the y1 terms or y terms 4y1 and 8y1 minus 4y1 plus 8y1 is plus 4y1 because minus 4 plus 8 is plus 4. Next, identify the constants. There are three constants available. 9 plus 4 and minus 16. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 minus 16 is minus 3. Equal to 0. Therefore, the locus. Therefore, the locus is. Replace x1 with x. And y1 with y in our final answer so we got the locus as 6x plus 4y minus 3 this is the answer for the question